Scappy is a very powerful object-oriented scripting tool in Kali. In order to access Scappy, enter the term Scappy at the command line. The first object that we're going to look at is IP. So enter IP in capital letters, and then open and close parentheses. And then what we want to do is assign this object to a variable. So we'll do IP in lowercase, and then the IP object once again. And then use IP.display, and then open and close parentheses, to see the different characteristics of that object. The object is already built with predefined configurations for each of the different characteristics listed here. We can change those configurations by using the variable dot characteristic and set it equal to a new value. So ip.dst or destination and then set it equal to an IP address of a Windows system that I have in my lab. Then I'll use ip.display once again to verify that the changes were made to that characteristic. And as you can see, this will update both the destination as defined and also the source address to our Kali IP address. Next we want to create an ICMP object and assign it to the variable ping. So we'll use ping equals ICMP open and close parentheses and then ping.display to see the characteristics of that layer. And as you can see by default it's an echo request. So we'll then send the packet with windows equals sr1 which is send and receive one packet and then IP over ping. We'll then receive the reply and we can review the results of that reply with windows.display. And as you can see, the result is an ICMP echo reply. And also, please take note of the TTL or time to live value of 128. Now let's try the exact same process, but this time we will send a ping packet and receive the response from a Linux machine that I have in my lab. So we'll use ip.dst and set the destination IP address to the IP address of our Linux machine. And then we'll do Linux equals and then send and receive and IP over ping. And then we'll do Linux.display to display the received packet and once again an ICMP echo reply. But this time notice that the TTL value is not 128 but instead 64. This is one of the common distinctions between most Linux and Windows operating systems is that Windows starts the TTL value at 128 and Linux starts at 64. And for each hop required to get to the destination, the initial value is decremented by 1. This can be a very simple way of fingerprinting operating systems, or at least to distinguish between Windows and Linux hosts. So we'll exit out of Scapy, and one of the great things about Scapy is that it can be used or imported into Python for scripting purposes. I've actually already created a very basic Python script that tests to see if the operating system is Linux or Windows based. So we'll look at this script and basically all it does is import the Scapy module and then takes input from the user regarding the IP address that you want to test and then it creates the IP and the ICMP packet layers and then if the TTL value is less than 65, it defines it as Linux, otherwise it defines it as Windows, and then prints the result. So we can run this real quick against each of our different systems. First, we'll uh, go ahead and do a chmod 777 in order to change the Python script to an executable. And then period forward slash and the Python script to execute it. And then we'll enter the IP address of our Windows host. and it immediately returns the result that the operating system is Windows. We can also try the exact same thing with our Linux IP address. So this is a very simple and crude example of how operating system fingerprinting can take place, and also an example of how you can use Scapy within a scripting environment. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and look at some more advanced operating system fingerprinting tools in Kali.